I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Organogram is the latest Canadian company to begin trading on the NASDAQ. They're using the symbol OGI, and the cannabis company said that it was investor demand that pushed them to make the move. Green Thumb Industries closed on a $105 million secured debt financing deal. Gotham Green advanced an additional $80 million to MedMen as part of the previously announced convertible credit facility. It was a very busy week for acquisitions. Let's just jump right in. Canopy Growth finalized its acquisition of skincare company This Works in an all-cash deal valued at $73 million Canadian dollars. MPX bought all the shares of Swiss CBD company Holy World in a deal valued at $13 million Canadian dollars. Australis Capitals is acquiring Green Therapeutics in a deal valued at $8 million. Northern Swan took a page from the Acreage playbook and named former Majority Leader Tom Daschel and former Representative Joe Crowley to its board. If you'll recall, Crowley lost his seat to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez here in New York. Horizons ETF management launched two new ETFs this week. The Beta Pro Marijuana Company's two times daily bull ETF, try saying that twice fast. HMJU is the symbol and the Beta Pro Marijuana Company's inverse ETF, symbol HMJI. The units of these ETFs will begin trading on May 24th on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Terrasend generated revenue of $14.6 million in the fourth quarter of 2018, but they reported a net loss for the quarter of $11 million. It is a three-day weekend. Markets will be closed for trading on Monday in honor of Memorial Day. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.